Welcome back. In the previous video, we had a look at the order of execution when the IOQ is in picture. In this video, our focus still remains on the IOQ, but we will slowly start moving towards the check queue as well. There is a very important point to make note of, which I will explain through the next experiment. Before we run our experiment, I want to mention to queue a callback function into the check queue, we can use a function called setImmediate. The syntax is very similar to process.nextTick where we pass in a callback function. If this is clear, let's head back to VS Code and run our experiment. Now this will be experiment number 9 and we are going to pick up from where we left off in the previous video. We have a read file callback, a next tick callback, a promise resolve callback, and a set timeout callback. If we run this code, we see the order of execution is next tick, followed by promise, followed by set timeout, and finally read file. And this agrees with our visual representation here. But let me tell you, there is a small detail that we haven't uncovered yet. Let's do that now with our ninth experiment. After set timeout, I'm going to use set immediate to queue up a callback function into the check queue. Check queue is the queue after the IO queue, as you can see here in our visualization. I want you to now pause the video and try figure out the output. If I run node index, you can see the output might not be what you expected. We have set immediate logged before read file. This is a little strange given the fact that IOQ is before the check queue, right? Well, it is strange if we don't understand about this IO polling mentioned in between the two queues. Let me go over the code with this visualization and explain what exactly happens under the hood. First, all the five statements are executed on the call stack. This will result in callbacks being queued up in the appropriate queues. One in next tick, one in promise, one in the timer queue, one in the IO queue, and one in the check queue except that the read file callback is not queued up at the same time. Let me break this down for you. When the control enters the event loop, the micro task queues are first checked for callbacks. We have one each in the next tick queue and the promise queue. Next tick queue gets priority and we see next tick one logged followed by promise one. Both the queues are empty and control moves on to the timer queue. We have one callback which logs set timeout one to the console. Now comes the interesting bit. When the control reaches the IO queue, we expect the read file callback to be present. And why wouldn't we? We have a really long for loop and read file should have completed by the time control enters the event loop. Well, the reality is that the event loop has to poll to check if IO operations are complete and queue up only the completed operation callbacks. Which means when control enters the IO queue for the first time, it is still empty. Since it is empty, control then proceeds to the polling part of the event loop where it asks read file if it has completed. Read file says yes and the event loop now queues up the associated callback function in the IO queue. However, execution is past the IO queue and the callback has to wait for its turn. Control then proceeds to the check queue. It finds one callback and logs set immediate one to the console. There's nothing more left in the current iteration and the event loop starts a new iteration. It sees microtask and timer queues are empty, but the IO queue now has a callback. The callback is executed and read file one is finally locked to the console. This is the reason we see set immediate one logged before read file one. In fact, this is what happened with our previous experiment as well, but we did not have further code to run and hence did not come across this behavior. 
But the inference from this experiment is that IO events are polled and callback functions are added to the IO queue only after the input output operation is complete. With this in mind, let's proceed to understand more about the check queue in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.